there's so many underneath. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, they bite so hard. Did you know what is the name of this animal? These animals are often found in the coast, and they eagerly bite your skin in crowds, and they will leave many small scars in your hand. Some content creators even use them as challenge for make many views. And maybe most of you know this animal with name Saint Piranha. However, the real name of this animal is actually not Saint Piranha, but waterline isopods. And what is actually waterline isopod? Is they are dangerous parasite? Firstly, I will talk about the Latin name of waterline isopod. The waterline isopod belongs to the genus Exirolana. This genus has a variety of about 15 species, and the species that commonly found in coastal USA is Exirolana chiltoni. And Exirolana that live in South America is Exirolana brasiliens. And Exirolana that live in West Canada is Exirolana kincaidi. And there are still many more Exirolana species. Waterline isopods, as the name implies, this animal is an animal that comes from isopod. Isopods are animals without backbones or invertebrates, and they have back covered with exoskeleton. And what makes isopods stand out is they have seven pairs of legs in the thorax. And for a lower classification, these waterline isopods is included in the Cirrolanidae family where there are about 680 species in this family, including some of which are obligate parasites and carnivores as the composers, and some of them are combination of both parasites and carnivores. And the waterline isopod in the Cirrolanidae family are included in the genus Exirolana, which can be said to be carnivores and temporary parasites. Waterline isopod often bite human walking along the coast, but their bites are easy to release. Sometimes, they also eat carcasses of stranded animals such as jellyfish. But the annoying thing about waterline isopods is that they can disturb swimmers on the beach and disturb fish farmers in the sea. With their ability to bite in groups, waterline isopods also have the ability to reproduce very quickly. And they have even infested the coast of California. You may head to the beach to cool down, but beware of some creepy crawlers nicknamed mini sharks. The shrimp-like crustaceans are aggressive and have a strong appetite for human feet. They're less than half an inch long. They swarm together by the thousands and attack like piranhas. Their bites feel like pinpricks, but they can't draw blood. Health officials, professionals recommend rapidly shuffling the feet to reduce the bites. So far, Southern California beaches haven't issued any warnings to swimmers. Even though they are sharks, they actually have important role in the marine ecosystem. Waterline isopods have almost same role as maggots on land. They both feed on leftovers of life. Waterline isopods are often found in sandy areas of the beach because there is a lot of wood stranded here. Waterline isopods are decomposer. That means they will speed up the decomposition process of marine animals' carcasses, so that the carcasses of these marine animals can be disappeared before spoil the beach scenery. And then their faces will be absorbed by marine plants because of the nutrients they contain. And actually, their siblings other types of isopods also have role as decomposers. And some terrarium ecosystem hobbies deliberately keep isopods to keep their terrarium to still clean. The habitat of waterline isopods is has been recorded along shorelines on both sides of the Pacific Ocean. Nowadays, the population of waterline isopods is on numerous. They are not an endangered species, but no one knows about their fate in future. Will they still be easy? to find on the coast? Or maybe on future, their feed is same as the firefly. They used to have largest population, but due to the destruction of their habitat, many of them could not survive and become increasingly rare. And when they become endangered, we will miss them and understand how important waterline isopods are in the marine ecosystem. So thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.